G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome to the Red Dawn Rising campaign. So this is a modded campaign that you have to add in. It is essentially playing the 1984 campaign but from the Russian side. So we're currently docked at Murmansk. It is the 30th of December 1984 at 1900 hours from Commander Atlantic Submarine Force 2. Tiger K-481, Red Banner Northern Fleet, Mission Orders. Tactical Situation, Satellite Photos show that the enemy surface task force is preparing to sail from the North Atlantic convoy route. So somebody's crossing the North Atlantic. Intelligence estimates that it will make a patrol in the vicinity of the Norwegian Sea, perhaps approaching Narvik, passing through the Norwegian coast. You are ordered to intercept and destroy this task force, especially the support carrier and the battleship. An enemy escort of surface combatants and or submarines should be expected. Locate and sink the support carrier and the battleship. So this isn't a uh, isn't a uh, small way of entering into the uh, the campaign, I guess. Avoid detection by enemy anti-submarine warfare patrols. Yeah, well that's a given. Weapons free. Maintain radio silence until otherwise directed. Okay, so. As seen, we are Tiger K-481. We are an Alpha-class nuclear attack submarine. Yes, I had the full option of a huge amount of submarines to choose from. Had to drive the Alpha, which means we are the fastest and the noisiest thing in the bloody ocean. So we're fully stocked, all systems operational, and we are ready to rock and roll. So, let us begin. All right. Now that could potentially be our target. Losses in Norway. Russian forces have moved deeper into Norway. Forces are said to be evenly matched and NATO press officials have released estimates of heavy Russian losses. At the same time, Russian state television aired images of liberated villages in key regions of Norway. Assessments suggest the war is so far an even outcome. The Battle of the Atlantic is currently unresolved as both NATO and Soviet task groups of considerable strength each keep the other tied up in a state of mutual area denial, according to the US Secretary of the Navy. Alright. So we're still waiting for our ships, and I reckon that's them. I reckon. So I want to get in front. Oh. Damn it. I think we got him. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So I spent a little bit of time here to actually identify all the targets. Seven targets in total. I haven't been able to identify Sierra 6 at this point in time. Looks like we've got two blue whales in the middle of the group. We've got a sprue. Garcia and a Knox, as well as the Iowa. Now, there was supposed to be an escort carrier in this mission, so I'm thinking it's entirely possible we actually may be missing a target at this point. For the moment, we are being pinned. Right two, two, nine, six, nine. But for the moment, it seems that we have not been detected. No, it wasn't. It's a bell cap. We got a. What the hell? Ah, oh, very close. Okay, very, very, very close. Slight misidentification. There's so many new stuff. Uh, so many uh, new contacts added. I'm still in the process of IDing them. I'm reasonably sure these two are actually blue whales. In fact, we can check on helm, steady course. Yep, that one is in fact a blue whale. Now, with the mods, um, outside of the Russian submarines, most of the surface vessels, because Cold Waters doesn't allow modders to put in new 3D models, at least not yet. Apparently, the way the game is built, you need access to the source code to be able to do that, which is pretty poor for modding support I think but um, most of them are based on Russian ships that exist into the game that have had mesh modifications to a level where that's actually possible 
Um, you can do some of that, and uh, they've had skin recolors, which is definitely a modification that is possible as well. So the Iowa is likely to not look like an Iowa. Yeah, that doesn't look much like an Iowa to me at all. But that's what it's meant to represent. So we've got to deal with ships that uh, aren't necessarily 100% accurate. Well, at least we did get the flags in the back, so no, that's all right. That's that's what we got to work with here, at least for the moment. Any course. Right, so. 5.2 kiloyards. We're nice and close here. The second we fire, it's going to be party time, so. actually loaded here at the moment. Yep, they are used at 80s. Okay, that's cool. Whoa, that's close. I might need to fire a panic shot in that direction. exactly how close that really is. Although we're not getting torpedoes fired on us, so it can't be that close. Now we, as soon as we release these, we're going to have to run. So, first torpedo is going to go at the escort. straight to 800 feet. Hopefully that torpedo will come back around and it will pick up the moss and not us. It does appear to have at this point. need to hope that I can get deep enough that I will not become a target when it comes back which is entirely fast. is above us and is continuing to follow the moss. Good. Alright, so that's first three torpedoes out. 
fingers crossed we will be fine from additional attacks at this point. We'll see exactly what mayhem actually happens here because there's torpedoes going every which way at this point. The other two must have as well, although our Iowa target is making a good run, although I don't mind that, because if he separates himself from his escorts, he'll be easy to pick off. The difference with the Alpha to playing the American boats is shattering an enemy's fleet's formation and getting them to move around isn't actually necessarily a bad thing. And at 41 knots capable, nobody can get away from me. It doesn't matter what it is, torpedoes have trouble catching me in this thing. The only downside to it is it is, of course, very noisy. The sprue crosses the moss. Those torpedoes may pick up the sprue. We may actually get a side unintentional kill over here in a second. Diving here. 1500. Where's the bottom? Torpedo seems to be tracking something over here at the moment. One of them. Looks like we got the bell nap with that shot. So that's nice. Sierra 6, I never identified what you are. What are you? Okay, it does look like a double line. I reckon that's a narwhal. I do believe Sierra 6 is a narwhal. Lost contact. Sierra 5. Last bearing 2, 6, 4. Contact faded. Con sonar. Sierra 6 is classified as submerged submarine. Yep. Sierra 6 is a not in fact a narwhal. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra and we've lost it again. Six. Last bearing 3, 4. Come right to 3, 5. Should have checked Don't depth. Nine. Next time it pops up, I need to check the sea, uh, check the narwhal for depth. Noisemaker bearing two, four, eight. No, we won't fire on that one just yet. Alright, so we fired three torpedoes, we've gotten one kill, the entire fleet is panicking. There she goes there. Sounds like another torpedo launch, most likely at the Moss. Hit it right amidships. Alright. Now walls firing on us. Cheeky shit, it's managed to locate us. Make turns four, one, nine. Fine, maneuvers to play. Come right to three, four, seven, helm, I. Con, helm, steady course. If I can take the narwhal. Yeah, if I can take the narwhal. Close range on it as quickly as possible. Take it out. And then we can break out the north and come back around and catch the Iowa. And I still think I'm missing a ship here because we're supposed to be getting an escort carrier as well. And we have not seen an escort carrier at this time. Yeah, 
that's fine. And this torpedo spiraling down to meet us at the moment. It's depth changing all the way to us. And heading in our direction. So yeah, down downward spiral and coming to us. The narwhals at about a thousand feet, roughly. right in front of us very close right in front of us whoa it is not just right in front of us it's right on top of us I didn't even, outside of the, the marker for sonar, I didn't even, like, that didn't visually have time to render. We must be that close. Come on, turn harder. Turn harder. Turn harder. I need a depth. I need to know exactly how far away it is to be able to fire. Like, like I need a depth. Should be the same as us. Should be the same as us. Because it is wire controlled. And I think we just lost the wire. But that's alright, we've guided the torpedo away from us for the moment. Alright, so that was one of their torpedoes. There she goes. Yeah, that was one of their torpedoes coming in from the opposing direction, something that was tracking us. That was not one of mine. Looks like she actually ate two. Unless she took one earlier on and the second one just finished her. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining either way. That's two kills. I fired four torpedoes. My efficiency is not going great at this point, but that should be heading for the surface. And, yep, it's on the surface. And it is heading in the direction of Iowa. Yeah, and Iowa is the target here, although I'm thinking... Actually, no, we won't do that. Come right to two, six, one, no, nine. Yeah, they're pointing the other direction. Now it's time to go. Four, one, nine, Set it back to 1500.
will get back over to these guys down here. I will hunt them down, but Iowa has to go first. Con, Elm, steady course. God, that's a beautiful sight. And God, we dropped them so close together as well. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, seven, last wind. All right. So it looks like we've finally managed to catch her. And it looks like she's actually turned around and is trying to run back past us. Active homing, run for the surface. I'm not, I'm not going to miss this opportunity. We're going to get her right now. Second torpedo out. I mean, does that leave us with? We're going to need to resupply after the next mission. Uh, crap. No, you. There we go. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Alright, let's bring the depths up. Go, torpedoes are homing. And yep, that's looking good. They're not going to outrun that. All right, so the Iowa has been dealt with, or will be in just a few seconds. Looks like they're gonna hit it at about the same time. Boom, boom. And that was not enough to kill it. That was not enough to actually take her out. Jesus. Come right to zero seven three L I. Set speed four hundred. That should have, at the very least, slowed her down. Yeah, that put the brakes on us. Speed nineteen. She's not going to be outrunning us again. Burning on the back there, back of the deck. Otherwise, still running on both. She should have more than running on both screws. I really wish they could put real models in. I, mean, I know the 3D modding community would be happy to make more subs if they had access to be able to actually put them into the game. I mean, hell, I might take a crack at it. I've had Bunker Blender installed on it at the moment. Alright, so, in that case. Shoot one away. I don't want to spend any more torps than I absolutely have to at this point, so I'm going to assume that this will actually be enough. Three. It may not be, just for the record. Now, my biggest worry is whether or not. One of these is actually also a target for us. I don't think they are. We haven't had any contact with them in a while. Con, Helm, steady course.
things. So. I do love the Alpha, it's so sleek. The Russians did right when they built this one. And I do love the fact that the model includes the small, um, the small silent running propellers here. Um, basically, the, the main screw, it, in game, it runs everything through the main screw, but that's actually inaccurate. The Alpha was that noisy that if it wanted to move at speeds below 10 knots and actually be stealthy, it would lock down the main screw so it wouldn't turn and would then run on these small propellers on the outside these were the silent running props they would only allow it for about five or six knots top speed but they made very little noise so at that low point when you just want to be really quiet it would be speed to 10 knots and it is time for us Make turns for I think to Contact. exit the area we, are we missed a sprue and we missed a perry so it wasn't what I thought it was we got the bell nap we got the narwhal and we got the Iowa so I'm not sure excellent job commander your neutralization of this high priority target will severely reduce the enemy's ability to hinder our attacks on transatlantic convoys Sends regards to you and your crew. Await additional orders on this downlink. Alright, so we got Iowa, and that was all we were after. And it's interesting, it did say that there was a carrier out here somewhere, and we never ran into it. Kind of a shame. Taking down Iowa and a carrier on our very first mission would have been absolutely fantastic. And it looks like we're going to be picking ourselves up. Medal Order of the Red to the Red Batter 2. Captain Nikolai Magzinov, Commanding Officer of Tiger K481. Cool. Massive attack. A NATO battle group recorded to be operating somewhere in the North Atlantic has come under sudden and severe attack. The Pentagon confirmed that several ships, including several capital ships, succumbed to overwhelming missile strikes. There was no missile strikes. Which there was. It would have saved us all that time chasing it down. Um, and were lost during the action. Details remain incomplete, but initial numbers of personnel lost are unaccounted for are high. Surface Task 4 Ops 2 Risky. In the light of this recent major defeat, questions have been raised as to whether or not surface warfare groups operation can be effectively carried out. Many in Congress are calling for withdrawal of capital ships from all contested waters, claiming the risks are simply too high. Ooh, that's not bad for a first mission. Not bad at all. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel once again very, very soon. And until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.